Okay, so welcome back to the channel. And what is a introduction to um, the build that I'll be doing for Ultimate Modeling Products, which is the Tamiya T55A. Um, I'm going to do something slightly different with it. I'm going to be building a African Union T55, um, which is currently operational in Somalia on the east coast of Africa. Um, so the reason those T55s are there is Somalia is a place that's been plagued by civil war, tribal conflict, terrorism, etc, etc. So currently the African Union are there in support of uh, the Somali government to combat a terrorist group uh, which are known as Al-Shabaab. Now they're affiliated to Al-Qaeda. Um, so the African Union is there to provide uh, military support to the Somalian government to try and deal with this particular terrorist organization um, and they're operational uh, today um, and have been for a number of years so most of the African Union T55s that I've seen uh, in reference pictures online are painted in this kind of white almost United Nations type uh, scheme with very very minimal um, sort of unit markings and that sort of stuff on them other than these African Union markings that you can see here so I thought that would provide a, a really interesting subject from from a modeling and painting point of view to do it white um, so I'm going to be using the Tamiya T55A in 35th scale um, now these vehicles from reference pictures are quite beat up, they're dented, bits missing, etc, etc. So I thought the Tamiya kit would, would absolutely lend itself to that um, and enable me to try and recreate something um, that, that's quite beat up and well used. Obviously in the Tamiya kit the tracks that come with it are rubber band tracks um, and they're not great. So I've also got the uh, RMSH tracks from Mini Art, which are workable, they're in plastic, along with a metal barrel from ABA. Um, so I'll be using those as well as the Tamiya kit um, to try and increase the level of detail and make the kit uh, really nice. So that's that's why we've got those. So stowage from reference pictures. Um, stowage is not your traditional sort of military stowage um, that I'm used to doing on armour um, and we used to see in, in more sort of modern uh, modern military forces, NATO forces, Russian etc um, and it's not that at all um, so I need to try and figure out a way of recreating what you're seeing on the on the images here uh, with these sort of carrier bags, tarp rolls in all various different colours, etc, um, etc. Et so that's going to be a challenge again in, to, to try and recreate that. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure yet how I'm going to do it. Um, but I know that it's going to look cool and what we can see on this particular image is also these sort of rubber mud flaps uh, underneath the upper hole uh, at the top of the track so I may have a go at doing something like that um, so as we can see again in this image we've got things like garden chairs um, although we have got some military type um, you know crates attached to it um, but there's all sorts hanging off this tank um, you know, plastic containers, garden chairs, um, carrier bags, what look like green bin liners. So there's lots and lots of scope for for detailing this with some some scratch built stowage and stuff that isn't really available um, as a kit form, etc. And again, on the turret here, we can see some cardboard boxes. Um, and obviously these rolls, uh, which are just all various colours, which I think will contrast really nice against the uh, the white of the, of the armour itself. And again, we can see those look like sort of makeshift mud flaps almost fitted to the, the top of the hull there. So we may have a go at, at those as well. Um, so with that in mind, I've also got the Mini Art Street Furniture Kit. Um, obviously in 35th scale. Um, the reason I wanted this kit to go with it is I'm going to use some various bits from it. So certainly the chairs to try and replicate that image we've seen. 
uh, possibly the, the sort of uh, portable stereo there, maybe have that on it, the T part, um, and, and use bits out of that kit to try and recreate the stowage that we've seen. So that's it, we're moving on, and the next part we'll start assembly and getting this thing together. So thanks for watching, um, keep your eye on the channel, hit the like and subscribe, um, and obviously we will uh, we will crack on with this and try and create what's in my mind's eye so i'll see you next time bye bye